Okay, so we are back to where we made nukes two days ago, and we're going to just pull those frames, fill the four ways, and head down to where I have my mating yard. It's one of the easier jobs, and one of the things you can do to ensure you have a nice population as you pull those frames is you can do this in the late afternoon when all the foragers are back. Obviously, you want to have your equipment ready, your personal protection. Foragers tend to be the meaner ones of the hive. And, um, but as usual with queen rearing, it is an overcast day. It's, it's so wet out here, it might as well be raining. And yet some of my girls are still flying. And, but if you do the late afternoon, you get a better population on your frames and you don't have to shake as many just to fill up that, uh, fill up those frames in case it's a little bit light. You still might have to, but generally, no. And I've seen beekeepers who do it in the evening. They're like, seriously, in the evening. I'm not, well, my help is certainly not going to do that. So I might have tried it, but my help won't. And that's family so but and like I said queen rearing is usually in the dark or a rainy day or a spring weather spring weather is changeable and so let's make some nukes This is the 10 frame hive that has already been prepped with brood and resources to make the two frame nukes that go into a four way mating nuke. This can be done for any size nuke, just bringing up resources and placing them above a queen excluder so that you never grab the queen. Of course, the first thing to do is remove the feed bag. The feed bag was there to help draw up more bees into the 10 frames so that the bees are more populated than not. That's one of the brood frames. The next will be the honey frame and so on. At this point, because they've been brought up two days prior, it's just a matter of moving the frames. You really gotta show the camera. Oh no, I don't. I mean, I can. That will definitely have brood. When you pull the frame, how you're pulling it this way? Yeah. When you turn it, turn it towards this way, okay. and then turn it back to set it. One of my subscribers asked if I preferred capped brood or open brood for these nukes. And if I have to go with one over the other, I like a mix. But if I look for a frame, I look for mostly capped because I'm putting a virgin queen in there. And so as the frame emerges, cells will open and she will have absolutely the youngest bees I could provide for her.
can actually make two frame nukes a little too strong because then they'll swarm on you even with a virgin queen. If it was very cold, I would probably go with more open brood, but it's not cold, it's just rainy and dark and dreary. And you can see how quickly this is going. You could grab two at a time, I prefer one. I like to see what is the population. These frames are now extra because it's a four frame. They will be shook into the hive to get that population off of them. And then the frames will be used to bump up smaller hives or consolidated into just one hive Ooh, and used for okay. extras. Nothing's lost. Stomp your foot. Okay, so today now we're going to try it at super speed. It is a very moist day, windy, and the bees don't like being opened up. So a little bit of smoke will go a long way. But you don't smoke in the hive, otherwise they're going to draw down instead of up where you want them. One thing about the smoke is that a little goes a long way. Generally I use the spray, a water spray but sometimes if they're really at you, the smoke will help you. So doing this is just basically the same thing, taking out and placing into the four-way. Each time, just in case, you might wanna take a cursory look at the queen, or not at the queen, but looking for the queen. Just in case for some reason, she either held onto the frame that you shook, or maybe for some reason you lost your mind and didn't shake that frame and moved it up anyway. There's also the possibility of your hive having more than one queen. Things happen and you tend to see it all the more you work in your hives. The one thing with queen rearing, I've said before, it's spring and spring is rain, wind, cold, heat, cold, heat, wind, and rain. It's always gonna be something that you didn't want on the day that you needed it to be nice, but you have to deal with it. And if I haven't said it already, each of these four ways, the entrances are blocked off. They are confined bees so that they don't fly out while... She looks up great, a little light, but I've got extra frames, so I'm gonna shake them in. There we have it in about a minute. We successfully built four two frame nukes and have an extra two frames to spare. Those two frames are actually not bad to have as a backup if for some reason there was something wrong with a frame that you previously thought was fine. Now you have an extra or again like I've said they will go to bump up smaller hives. They can also go back down in if you need.
do it again. I didn't get it. I wasn't ready. Okay, so we're down where the nukes belong. Tomorrow, Ingo sells. But for now, they are open. They're going to orient. And in this yard, there's no, there's a couple of hives, but nothing major. So they will orient to this area. Cells go in. And hopefully, they come back mated. It's the one part you don't have any control over. So that's it for making some nukes. It's an easy way. This is the one part that you don't have control over. The flower pattern or circle kind of thing. Those boxes will have colored discs on the entrances. Yikes. And uh, that's about all you can do. Just try to make them visible and different so that the queen comes back she has a lot to negotiate. If you look around, there's all kinds of other bugs. I've got a ton of birds. I'm in the Mississippi flyway of the Gulf Coast, so they have a lot to try to negotiate back. Once they're back, it's a success. I measure my successes on queen cells hatched, some people on queen grafts taken, and uh, you just hope for the best on them returning and you make it as mo you make it as conducive as possible for her to return. But again, you can have all the best things in place, but if she's ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. If she gets eaten by a bird, there's nothing you can do. You didn't you didn't do that. So until next time, happy beekeeping. May your queens all hatch and come back mated. Yikes! <laughs> Happy beekeeping. <laughs>